everyone I am sharing my first week of April um, garden tour so it is I think about a third or fourth <laughs> yes I can't remember the exact date but we I know we're in the first week of April and I just thought I would share with you guys where I'm at so these are some new seedlings that I did yesterday and these are some of my tomatoes I did not upplant them as yet I did upplant most of these two days ago um, the boys are actually they have to do a project where they need to for consumer math where they need to sell a product and they also are doing gardening as their co-curricular for and their homeschool so they decided to sell some plants so we are potted because we do have some friends coming to pick up so those are some new ones we also planted so pretty much my back porch is overwhelmed with a lot of plants these are yet to be up planted um, some of these may get a plant over the weekend and let me take you over to another area. here we have almost like a rescue of, of like seeds and packets I had some of these from the dollar store and I was not sure if they would germinate so I tested them these are some bok choy some tomatoes that were so cluttered up with other bigger tomatoes that they did not get uh, you know they were more like I guess deprived of nutrients so I decided rather than throw them out I'll just put them here to see what happened this variety is called Mar Globe and these are some mints I had in water and they definitely need some nutrients. Then here we have some more uh, tomatoes, peppers, zinnias and some other baby ones down there. Oh, they're so cute. Um, this is Daisy. Uh, these are actually, I think, lemon cucumbers. Yep, lemon cucumbers. Then we have some herbs here, parsley, colored basil. These were so tiny because I have some bigger basil plants, but I decided not to throw them out. Uh, this one suffered some damage. This is Indian blanket flower, and then we have some peppers here and someone is actually going to come and collect those along my back wall i have some peppers and these were the ones that were gifted to me by my friend these are trinidad pimento peppers that were in my home and we just brought them back out because we had a cold spell and you can see they're already um given out their new growth so we will transplant them inside in just a bit um outside in a bed just a overview bit. of how things look um we have a kind of new setup so we have uh, sweet peas still there I will have to move it because some of the days are actually in the 80s so they will need to go maybe to the end where there's a lot more shade now it's actually one o'clock so this is more or less how the Sun is gonna be throughout the day I actually stopped what I was doing to do this video because we're gonna go inside in a bit and grab lunch and then I will, I'm not sure what time I'll come back out and then later on the boys will be doing stuff around so Jordan are you okay? You looking very warm? Oh boy So another bed is going to be coming here very soon so it's going to be three beds and the one that's here is going to actually be the one with the peppers and the okras because they love the sun so these beans are here this is actually some cosmos and dwarf sunflowers I will be um, a planting these in the in pots and in the ground in front and then we have some poppies marigold I think two types of zinnias and marigolds this is I have to clean this but this is just bush at the back here we have some dwarf marigolds this I don't know what earth is that but I have to I mean clean out these pots and then you have my rosemary more peas then we have here crab yes <laughs> crab shawl I don't know what they were doing with that but um, I have squash there that's germinating my maliba spinach cilantro and then another lettuce and I'm not even sure what this is and I was checking you know leaving it to grow to see what it will become I I think these are either um, zinnias or sunflower I don't even know I forgot I think these are actually all sunflowers and then 
We have, I can't remember what's in here. I think these might be this. Oh, this is a mixture, um, a packet that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just threw whatever was in here, was in it. So, and I actually do think that's a, calen a calendula. And I see poppy seeds. Um, here we have white marigold. Um, we have calendula and cosmos in here. These are zinnias, dwarf zinnias in here. And I'm gonna apply, take some of these out of the pot. I just heavy sewed them. And then I'm gonna put them randomly all over the yard. Look what's happening here. So I planted initially some peas in here and they never sprouted except one is actually sprouting out here with the zinnia, with the nasturtiums. How crazy, right? More peas and I think it's gonna get pretty hot. I don't know if I'm gonna get peas because how hot it's gonna get. So before these get big, I may very well actually transplant them to somewhere cooler and shady. And then we have some more peas there, but these are actually gonna be given to a couple of friends who are supporting the boys. We're not really selling them, we're just gonna be giving them stuff. And I tried using this pot and I planted a bunch of things inside here. I don't know if they're gonna come out. Then here we actually have some beans. What variety is it? These are tender green. Um, beans so I started up my beans already then back to this bed that's a little overwhelmed I should pull out most of these lettuce but I'm not if you look closely I did stick a lot of radish seeds between as things um, are growing and basil thyme chamomile ba um, thyme again dill tomato Oh, I have to move that stick. Tomatoes. Um, I had a tomato here and I pulled it out. Then we have one here because I realized it was just going to be too close. Then another tomato. And some of these are actually, I think this one, no, that one over there is a tiny Tim. That small one. So that's going to um, come out at some point. Yes, baby? Okay. Then we have the kale. That is. And between, I'm testing out some some tomatoes to see how they're gonna grow. And that's my peas growing there. Oh, mull out of breath, yeah. And more kale. What, baby? Okay. Um, I can't remember if I planted anything in here. I meant to. Oh, I am seeing sprouts. So these, I think, have a couple of radishes in them. My raspberry plants. These are um, these are just the fabric pots and radishes in here. But I just love this. This is uh, um, my pot and it's full out so well. I may very well have to take out this chamomile and put it in a pot by them by itself. Thin out some of the cilantro. Jordan has been biting these things off. Well, the radishes are gonna come out soon. And we do have a nice little radish cup peeking through there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. So, yeah, the radish is gonna come out. And then maybe I'll just like spread things around. And we have more dill there, chamomile, and radishes. And then we have over here some more radishes going. We actually had some potatoes that decided to go to seed where they had the shoots and I cut them up and we just put them here. Never planted to, um, potatoes. I don't know what's going to happen with these but they're just there for fun. We'll eventually take them out and see if we get anything in about two months, three months. And But this one actually which is by itself is looking really well and it's in a three or four gallon bucket more radishes here and then some sunflowers I think and sunflower over there this entire spot is going to be we are getting some soil and some compost and it's going to be my tomato in an L shape so we're gonna work on that my phone is actually freezing up in because it's so hot and my battery is draining so this was initially a, a radish bin but a lot of things 
a lot of radishes did not come up and I've started to put little things that came out of pots that weren't germinating properly and it became more of like a sick bay for plants here. Yeah. Kind of crazy, I know. We have more radishes here and then we have like a lot of my plants. Now, most of these were outside for a number of cold spells, so they've gone through some time, some tough times. This is dwarf nasturtiums, sunflowers, some tomatoes, some peat more beans. So you can see some of the tomatoes have yellowing in them, the basil them, they got burnt. Um, pork chopped tomatoes, some of these um, went through stuff. I'm gonna actually up cut those. So. Okay, we recently planted this Star of David. Um, lemon balm gifted by a friend. These are loofahs and more tomatoes. Some lettuce that I'm gonna experiment and plant like random lettuce underneath plants like tomatoes um, along tomatoes and okras plants that will give some shade and see if I can get any lettuce grown beans um, some friends are gonna get those too and then I have some Clemson spineless okra that's in those Roselle burgundy beans burlotti and I think tomatoes in here a new tray with stuff here um, Swiss chard some tomatoes again I need to put these out so they can get some sun there's some really nice varieties here so I want them to grow really big and strong Barry's crazy tomato I need to get a big pot for this or put it in a quarter bed because this gets really heavy and I'll need to support it so but that is more or less my garden for the first week in April everything is just starting to come together still a lot of plans my husband thinks I'm so crazy trying to grow a lot of these things but hey I'm just in for the fun and growing my own food Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it was helpful. Yes? Yeah. Okay, look at this. Look who's having fun. <laughs> You're having fun? Mama. Yeah, he's and having then, lots of fun then, in the garden with me. Mama, if you wouldn't can without water, water. <laughs> he puts. Oh. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, that's my watering can. Here, Mama. Bye. My hair. Thank you.